Hello, you're currently watching a video produced as a summer reading program for the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. My name is Rachel Koval. I'm one of the Community Connection Librarians here up in the Reference Department, and I am also your local government documents librarian. The natural question following that statement is, what's a government document? You know both of those words, but what do they mean together? Now it is possible that you've seen GovDocs around in your normal life and just haven't recognized them. For instance, this poster I have here, a poster of South Carolina freshwater fishes, is considered a government document, even though it's something that you would just see at a state park or at a local park by a waterway. However, this document was made, written, published, and produced by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources a document made by a branch of our government. In essence, that's all a government document is, even though they can take quite a few forms. Posters like that, books, pamphlets, all kinds of things. And we have a collection here at the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. Why do we collect them? Well, the reason we have a collection of these government documents is because we want them to be easily available to all of our citizens here in Spartanburg. All of this started about 200 years ago in 1813 when a partnership was formed between the federal government and libraries. At the time the country was getting bigger, the government was printing more and more documents that were relevant to public interest, but it was becoming harder and harder for people to travel to actually see these documents when they wanted to. So a system was made, the Federal Depository Library Program, where the government would distribute their publications to regional libraries that agreed to preserve them as long as they could for people to access them. Now the process is still about the same today as it was in 1813. Different branches of the government, now both federal and state, write these materials. The government printing office publishes them. The Federal Depository Library Program distributes them to different libraries around the country, and those libraries keep them for as long as they can and loan them out when someone asks to borrow them. Here in Spartanburg, we've been doing it since 1967. Now, the government document collection is a little different from most of our collections here at the library, and there's an important reason for that. We don't necessarily make all the choices ourselves about which documents we are given, which ones we keep, and how long we keep them for, because these aren't ours necessarily. Nothing in the library really belongs to the librarians. We do purchase them, but we have them as your collection for you. Government documents even more so. I don't actually fully make the choices about what we get, and I definitely don't make the choices about how long we keep them. That's because the point of keeping government documents is to have this information readily available for you, to use at any time, for any reason, and for as long as possible. Now, I'll be the first person to admit that some of our documents are not too useful in day-to-day -day life. but. Some of them, I think you can pretty easily see why you might want to check it out. One of my favorites is this one right here. It's gotten a little, a little dingy with time, but the information's still good. This is the Hurricane Guide for South Carolina 2021 edition. And in this, we have just a ton of different information about hurricanes, about what to expect, how to plan for one, what organizations can help you protect your house, your family, your pets, what you need to think about ahead of time, how to recover if you're in a hard situation. And that is something that could be of use to a person here in Spartanburg, hopefully not anytime soon. Now there are two different main types of government documents, federal and state. In essence, the ones that we get from the federal government in Washington, D.C., and the ones we get from the state of South Carolina. Now here at Spartanburg, our federal collection is much smaller. We don't keep as many of them. And that's for a couple, and that's for two important reasons. One is that most federal government information is actually pretty easy to find online. They've done a really good job at their digital presence with their digital databases. 
So everything that we used to be required to keep as a federal document can be found online without too much trouble. So we only keep a few that we think might be of interest or that we just think is a good idea to preserve a copy for prosperity. Right here I have an example of a federal document which was in fact the most federal document I could find. This year's economic report of the president. It is a weighty tome. It is essentially, it comes from the desk of the president's office and it is essentially everything that they think we need to know about the economic state of the United States this year. And I think it's also a good example of why we don't keep as many federal documents because though they have a lot of important information, it's less likely to be of use or of interest to people here in Spartanburg. State documents, we have a lot more of them. With South Carolina, sometimes it can be a little harder to find these things online. They can be published by very small branches of the government that don't have a big online presence. So it's much more valuable to have a paper document and a lot of times the publications are something that we really think people here might be interested in. For example, we have a lot of documents from local universities like Clemson and Lander. We have documents from the State Museum and the State Library. Government branches like our Department of Agriculture, of Health, of Transportation, for instance, road maps and their plans to improve the roads in the next few years. We get the Spartan County Budget Report and we also get very local publications like the Sea Island Bulletin. Here's one of my favorites and I think a fantastic example of a South Carolina state document. This is the official guide to South Carolina state parks. And this beautiful little publication gives you a list of every single park in South Carolina where to stay there, what to see there, points of interest. And if you get your own, you can, there's a little journal in the back where you can record some things about where you've been and where you want to go. Now, if you're interested in browsing these for yourself, we only have one physical location where we keep the government documents, and that's our headquarters library on downtown 151 South Church Street. They are upstairs just behind the reference desk, so you can come find us if you're interested in locating them. You can also find everything through our public access catalog. So if you want to search for uh, education materials or transportation materials, parks and recreation materials, you can look through the catalog and figure out what we have before you come see us. And once again, they also keep a lot of their information online in public access databases. So if you want some help finding or navigating those, just let us know up at the reference desk and we'll be happy to help you out. Feel free to come in and see us, browse the shells, ask questions. We hope we'll see you soon.